So I'm going to show you guys all my empties for the year. I saved everything that I used up, which was pretty cool. This is the second year I've done this. Last year I used up about $627 or something like that. And this year, um, my grand total is $781.71, which I think is really cool because kind of my like goal was $750, so I just barely reached that. Next year, dare I say 1000 That's probably not going to happen, but I just want to use up more than I did this year which would be really cool if I just keep using it more and more every year. I'm sorry I'm getting some some of this. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see. But you're going to watch me show you everything that I used up this year. So just keep watching. <laughs> oh, also, um, I used up 129 items this year, which is pretty cool. A lot of samples, a lot of hair stuff. A lot of um just like just a little of everything okay so um here we are you can probably hear my fish tank it's a little loud right now you doubt some water also just like the filter that i just bought for one of them uh is it just makes a lot of noise <laughs> um but anyways this is all of my empties from 2018 I have some already for 2019, but I was waiting to uh, get rid of these ones first. Um, so pretty much what I do with them is I have this bin that I keep under my desk over there. It's a mess, you can you can see. Um, but I keep that there and then I just, every time I finish something and like document it in my Word document, I put it into the bin. And it was super full this year, which was awesome. Um, a lot of, like, body products and stuff, always, a lot of moisturizers, a lot of masks, um, a good amount of makeup, like, a lot of mascara, eyeliner, brow stuff, and, like, lip balms. That's pretty much what I use most of the time. Um, I am panning some, like, blushes and highlighters now, so that'll be really interesting to see if I finish those up this year. But, um, yeah, I'm panning a lot of eyeliners and stuff right now, too, like, in projects need to update some projects but um we're just gonna go through these some of them I need to hang on to because they're part of projects that are ongoing and I want to be able to talk about them and show that they're empty so we're just gonna kind of uh we're just gonna talk about it a little bit so I try to organize them a little bit by like category and like different things so we're just gonna start over here because yeah um so I have a lot of masks that I used up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is a lip mask, ten, and then these are all, like, masks, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'm counting this, they're eye patches. What was that, fifteen? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I don't think I need to keep any of these, let's just put them all, we're just gonna put them back in here. Over here, what are these? These are some cleanser samples. This was also like a cleanser sample. Um, let's see. This is a lot of like skincare stuff over here. So this was, um, you know, cleanser. Um, oh, I think this is in a project, so I need to hang on to this. This is a Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. I bought, um, I bought two of these, and I really like them. I'm going to put those just like over there. Um, oh, these are all just... Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. You can see I have a lot of them over there too. I'm gonna grab those at some point Over here. Okay, I think these are both part of projects too. We'll see um, So the Kate Somerville exfoliate intensive exfoliating treatment and the first aid beauty ultra repair hydrating serum love it um, Little good jeans I didn't like this. Thank god. It's so expensive. This was from influencer and I liked it. It's um the Garnier what is it? Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water? Sorry, it's not focusing. Um, these were samples from Algenist. Let's see. These are all, like, moisturizers over here, so let's bring them forward. This was part of a project. I didn't really like it. It took forever to use up. A bunch of samples. Um, another sample. That was Glamoulo. I liked the smell of this. 
more sample sizes. Um, this was like a mini, another Kate Summerfield. That was nice, but it only lasted like a month. Like if you actually look inside of it, it was like, you don't have a lot of room in there. <laughs> this was from The Ordinary and I didn't like particularly love or hate this. It did its job. Um, deodorant two full size and one mini that I got from pinch me which is a really cool website they send samples and stuff I actually really liked this I might buy this um, it's from native biotin you know I'm trying to get through this stuff and then we'll move to the back um, lots of toothpaste to baby I'm sorry why aren't we focusing to baby toothpaste two of these big tubes and then one of these boys um i'm not using any toothpaste like this anymore i'm using one from i think the brand hello or something like that um because i'm not using anything that has um sodium lauryl sulfate because it makes you break out one lone nail polish remover i don't even know if i own nail polish remover i just realized i should probably check that out because i need to do my nails really bad so a lot of the stuff like down over here is makeup empties um, okay, so I used up the Milani Make It Last, two little samples of this Grande Lips Lip Pumper. Plumper. I loved this stuff, and I want it full size, but it's expensive right now, and I don't need it at this point. Someday. Um, a lot of mascara, so one full size and a bunch of baby ones. I pretty much use, like, two of these at a time and keep them for, like, three or four months at a time. So this was perfect, because I think I bought these five Wet n Wild ones for five dollars like it was a set of all these sample sizes and it lasted me literally a year like I spent like five dollars on mascara because the big one was a gift and this other sample was like a free sample so that was pretty sweet um I used up a lot of lip balms and stuff like this was not a lip balm this was an exfoliator but I used up four whole lip balms plus some other ones that are like pretty close to being done which is awesome um I liked the baby lips is probably my least favorite this one is probably like my favorite one that i used it's the uh sorry why aren't we focusing bramble ridge honey peach i don't know um this was good i liked it i like everything sol de janeiro has ever made that i've tried i just like their vibe a lot like would they sponsor me because <laughs> i will rep them so hard in all my mustard sweaters and I actually really did like this lip smacker one. It was kind of a weird consistency at first. Why aren't we focusing? Um, but I liked it. It was weird and thick and really easy to use up. Next is an e.l.f. primer. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's just get rid of this too. This is a shine eraser. I don't know. I feel like I bought a bunch of these back in the day. and It's had like two sheets left in it, but I used them, so it's cool. Um, this is all brow stuff some brow gels, a lot of e.l.f. This is Physician's Formula. This was a Kevin Aquan um, brow gel pencil and I ended up really liking that. Um, I'm calling this ColourPop thing done because I used up so much of it and it was just getting really dry. Um, this was a good, this was good though. This is how I started um, doing a highlight in my inner corner, which I do like every day now. So that was cool. Um, these are all eyeliners. Some of these were just dried and I counted them as being done because like I really did use the crap out of them. Um, yeah. And then a Wet n Wild primer and the e.l.f. makeup remover pen, which is so important to my collection. Um, I'm so sorry. Why are we so blurry? Okay. Uh, this was a hand sanitizer spray thing cool my favorite perfume jessica simpson fancy love i think i need to talk about this in a project so we're gonna hang on to that this was a sample of i don't know calvin klein whoops throwing things across the room these were both in projects and i liked both of them cotton rounds i may or may not have shaved a few times this year but usually takes a lot of effort to get me to shave, so jot that down. This was the year I started taking bubble baths because I realized, one, that they're super relaxing. Two, I could set up my iPad and watch It's Always Sunny while I was in the bubble bath. Three, I realized that if I laminated my flashcards, which I could do for free at my school library, um, 
I could study in the bathtub slash shower and it was the best because I learned so much, so much in the shower. It's awesome, guys. If you are trying to learn a lot of stuff and you're a grad student um, and you need to remember things forever, go get and go on Quizlet.com, not sponsored. Been using it for literally 10 years. Um, make your flashcards, print them out double-sided, get them laminated, and then there's no better way to study than in the bath and or shower because your hands are wet, so you can't touch your phone. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna get distracted, and it's just, you're warm, you're clean, it's the best. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that happened. I used up a lot of body lotion and hand lotion, I feel like this year. Maybe not a lot. Um, actually, not as much as I normally do because I kind of got lazy towards the end of the year. But, um, these are both hand lotions. I think they're both in projects, so I should remember that. Um, sample from Sol de Janeiro. It smelled super good. These were in a project. And then these were both full-size boys. And I liked both of them. Um, I dyed my hair a lot this year. <laughs> so, this is all hair dye. These are like my go-to hair dyes. Um, they're both Revlon. And they both, uh, are really cheap. This one's like $3, and the ones that are in this packaging is like $5, and they're amazing. Um, these are all like hair treatments and stuff that I used up this year in samples. So, we can, uh, we can just... I had two of those. Oh, okay. Uh, body wash. This is all body wash. Um, a lot of this I used, not a lot, but I did use like this one to shave. Um, oh, it's gonna feel so bad recycling all this stuff. Oh, some of this I used to shave though. I used a lot of, um, conditioner to shave like when I did actually shave because uh you know I didn't like a lot of this conditioner after using it like this one I didn't like so I used it to shave and it was perfect like that's the best way to use a conditioner that you don't really like um so I used up a lot of conditioner I used up a lot of shampoo apparently um I discovered I really like Batiste dry shampoo so that's cool and yeah, I feel like, I think at the beginning of the year I had quite a few, um, like, almost done shampoos and conditioners, so that was really cool. I'm also using different shampoo now because I went to a hairdresser and she literally looked at my hair when I was using, like, the, like, suave type shampoo, and she told me to throw it away, <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm not- I'm starting to use like Paul Mitchell stuff and I'm really enjoying it and it smells really good and it's not as expensive as I thought. Like I was always like, oh my gosh, like $13 for shampoo is so much and it's really not that bad. So I guess I'm just moving up in the world. I'm moving up from Suave to, to like nice shampoo. I don't know. Hopefully my hair, like, at least reflects it. I'll have to go get a trim soon and be like, can you tell I changed? Um, but yeah, more makeup removers. More makeup remover wipes. 